the man in the iron mask is a name given to an unidentified prisoner who was arrested in 1669 or 1670 and later on held in a number of French prisons, most notably the Bastille and the Fortress of Pinerol. He had the same jailer called Benin de Verne de saint Mar, holding him in custody for a period of 34 years. The most interesting thing about this prisoner was that throughout his captivity he was forced to wear some sort of a mask to conceal his identity. Since no one ever saw his face, his identity remains a mystery to this day. This topic has been extensively debated by historians and various theories have been given as well as the topic being expanded into numerous books and movies. But all in all, most historians agree that he indeed existed and wasn't just a historical legend being falsely interpreted. The earliest surviving records of the prisoner are from late July 1669, when Louis XIV's minister, Marquis de Lavoie, sent a letter to the jailer saint Mar, where he wrote that a prisoner named Eustache d'Orge was due to arrive in the next month or so. At that time, the prison of Pinerol held only a small number of prisoners, most notably the ones that were considered an embarrassment to the state. In his letters to Lavoie, saint Mar described the prisoner as a quiet man, given no trouble compared to his other prisoners, which were always complaining or constantly trying to escape. In subsequent years, the jailer saint Mar took the masked prisoner everywhere where his new post would be, most notably the exile fortress, the saint Marguerite prison and the prison of Bastille. The masked prisoner died on the 10th of November 1703 and was buried the next day under the name Marchioli. All of his furniture and clothing were destroyed afterwards and everything of metal which the man had had was melted down. However, in 1711, King Louis's sister-in-law Elizabeth Charlotte sent a letter to her aunt Sophia in which she stated that the prisoner had two musketeers at his side at all times to kill him if he ever removed his mask. She also described him as very devout and said that he was well treated and received everything that he desired. This is kind of odd because why would the king's sister-in-law write anything about the masked prisoner eight years after his death? There are a number of theories about the prisoner's identity, ranging from a king's close relative to a noble that did something embarrassing for the French nation or otherwise crossed the king in some way. Theory number one. King's relative. Voltaire claimed that the masked prisoner was an illegitimate son of Anne of Austria and Cardinal Mazarin, but the reliability of this claim is uncertain. Theory number two, King's twin brother. One of the most accepted theories is that the masked prisoner was in fact a twin brother of Louis XIV, born second and hidden in order to avoid any dispute over the throne. Supporting this theory is the fact that Louis XIV's genealogy shows many twin births, most notably from the Capetian dynasty and the House of Bourbon. Theory number three, King's father. Hugh Ross Williamson argues that the masked prisoner was actually the real father of Louis XIV. This theory argues that Louis XIII was in fact old, very ill and weak and thus may be impotent when Louis XIV was conceived. That is why Louis XIII probably agreed to this ordeal as to secure the heir to the throne. The substitute father was supposedly imprisoned when he threatened to reveal his secret with the aim of extorting money. Theory number four, French general. Another theory supports that the masked prisoner was a French general called Vivienne de Boulogne. Louis Gendreau, a French military historian, describes that the general was imprisoned and thrown into Pinerol after he ordered a hasty withdrawal at the siege of Cuneo in 1691, leaving behind many wounded men and supplies. Louis XIV ordered the imprisonment of Vivienne and specifically ordered the jailer to permit him a walk on the battlements during the day with a 330-309. The 330 stood for mask and the 309 for full stop. Theory number 5, Eustache d'Orger de Cavoy. Many historians have found evidence that a Eustache d'Orger was living in France at the time and was involved in scandalous and embarrassing events which led to his imprisonment. In April 1659, Eustache was invited to an Easter weekend party 
and it is said that he engaged in all sorts of sordid activities which became public and the instigators were jailed or exiled. There is also evidence that Doge took part in the affair of the poisons, which was a major murder scandal in France during the reign of Louis XIV. All in all, the man in the iron mask is still to this day unidentified and theories over his existence are still very much debated. Was he really a king's relative or just a common man in the wrong place at the wrong time? Perhaps we shall never know. What did you think about this video? Was it cool? Did we say anything wrong? For more videos like this, subscribe to Forum Feast and leave us a comment saying what you would like to see next. Until next time, goodbye.